mostly the two type of reflexes get involved for the entire functions of git one is called as long reflex and other is called as short reflex what are these in this figure you can observe the word written short reflexes and the word written long reflexes the short reflexes do develop when there is a loop developing between gastrointestinal lumen and the plexuses which are present in the wall of git like you can observe that any stimulus has generated from the git lumen this stimulus has stimulated the receptors which is which are present in the wall of git like it may be chemo receptor it might be osmo receptor or it might be mecano receptor the stimulation of these receptors have stimulated the plexuses which are present in the git wall it can be myenteric plexus it can be submucosal plexus or can be both stimulation of these plexuses is affecting the two structures either the smooth muscle to modulate the motile activity or the gland to stimulate the secretory activity and then response is observed this loop is called as short reflex that is the stimulus got generated from the git lumen and the built in plexuses were responsible one only to elicit the desired response the long reflexes get involved by the involvement of nervous system and the autonomic nervous system the central nervous system can affect the git by emotional states hunger sight smell taste of food all these stimuli can stimulate the central nervous system and then central nervous system can send the impulses via autonomic neurons to modulate those built in nerve plexuses and then to stimulate the muscle or the gland to elicit the response or the stimulus from the git lumen when stimulated the chemo receptors osmo receptors or mecano receptors the stimulation of these receptors can also send impulses to central nervous system via afferent neurons and then the messages from the nervous system will be sent down via efferent nerves which will be brought down by autonomic nervous system to collaborate with the built in myenteric plexuses or the submucosal plexuses and to elicit the desired response so we can say that the short reflexes involve the built in plexuses only while the long reflexes are doing their job when the central nervous system and the autonomic nervous system also get involved in producing the desired response in response to any stimulus this is another display to explain how in general the git functions are getting regulated in this picture the red arrows are indicating the short reflex while the black arrows are indicating the long reflexes what you can observe that multiple local stimuli can be present in the lumen of stimulus in the stomach or in the git lumen these local stimuli 
are stimulating the sensory receptors or neurons which are present in the git wall the neurons are also this picture is giving them the name of the little brain the stimulation of these receptors is responsible to stimulate the built in plexuses the built in plexuses are then responsible to stimulate either the smooth muscles or the secretory cells and they are resulting either in the muscle contraction or relaxation what is desired or towards the stimulation of the secretion or the inhibition of the secretion that is what is desired response by the digestive system now you can also observe that the local stimuli when stimulated the sensory receptors the sensory receptors also send impulses to the brain the brain can also get stimulated by external stimuli like sight or smell or taste or hearing of good food etc and by these external stimuli now the cephalic brain is getting stimulated and the central nervous system is sending the impulses via autonomic nervous system that is their sympathetic fibers or parasympathetic fibers who are collaborating with the neurons of myenteric or submucosal plexuses and then they are responsible to affect the smooth muscles and the secretory cells of the git to bring out the desired response at the level of muscle to modulate the motile activity or to work at the level of secretory cells to modulate the secretory status of git so in this way we can say that the stimuli getting generated at the level of lumen are responsible to involve local reflexes also the central reflexes the short loop reflexes and also the long loop reflexes and the result of these reflexes is depending what is expected at that moment in the digestive system